Hi everyone, welcome to the House Mouse Collab hosted by Crafty Bean, who is Tina. Um, sorry I'm a little late today, but I wanted to get this up for you because it is due today. I have two cards for you today. Um, because it's fall and because we're coming to Halloween, um, I did one of each. So this is my first one. Um, this was one of my new stamps that I just got called, I don't know, Acorn Cap. I'm pretty sure I got it at um, scrapbook.com because it's got the back stuff on it. So I used that. I also used um, these dies, which are Tim Holtz Alteration Sizzix number 661189. They're, they have like um, a stitching, I didn't put them back in there right, stitching pattern on them. So I used that for all three layers here. The paper that I used, if I can figure out what I do with it, um, is, here it is, is, um, is out of this paper pad, which I am <laughs> I'm almost finished this one, but I have another one just like it unopened. So anyway, it was this paper, um, which has leaves and things on it. I did. I thought about using this side, but I um, I'm saving that for another project, I guess, because it just it would look too busy with the mice and everything. And then I stamped the mice and I colored them in with my Stampin' Up, Stampin' Blend markers, which are alcohol markers. You could use Spectrum Noir, whatever. And the cardstock is actually Georgia Pacific. Uh, 110 pound weight 92 bright it says um, so yeah 110 pound white cardstock and that I got pretty sure at Walmart a long time ago and I have had it here so I used that and um, these are little Jolie's blings and I'm pretty sure I got those from Jen Evers crafty uh, yard sale a couple times ago but I am not positive about that and then this is the copper braided trim um, from Stampin' Up and I just wrapped that around this piece which is this piece the black is glued down this piece is bumped up and this piece is bumped up on top of that and then inside I used the same dies and I stamped this um, wishing you a beautiful autumn season out of what did i do with those oh goodness me <laughs> hang on um and this leaf these this leaf is too and i stamped that in um cajun craze and uh what is the other one crushed curry but then i colored them in with pumpkin pie and crushed curry and a little pumpkin pie here and on the front these leaves are colored in with real red i actually um outlined the veins in old olive dark and then i colored them in in real red pumpkin pie and crushed curry but i mixed the colors a little bit on each one so this has a little bit of pumpkin pie and crushed curry in the red this has um the the crushed curry and the pumpkin pie and so does this this is more pumpkin pie and this is more crushed curry. So that's what I did on those. Um, I think that's about it on that one. So I think it came out cute. Nice fall card there. And then um, that's just going to bug me now because <laughs> I had them right here. So on this one, you know, aren't they cute? No, that one I don't believe I had before. I don't have it in my fall bin here or Halloween. Um, this one you can't really see it you can maybe see it better inside this piece here uh, you're not gonna be able to see it uh, no you can't see it anyway i used um this stencil or decorative mask and i used basic gray on the roller a sponge brayer I guess they call it and I went over a piece of Knight of Navy for the inside this piece here and the outside now you can barely see it here but you can see it up close in person over along the edge there you can maybe see a little bit of it okay 
And then I wrapped this um, crushed curry seam binding ribbon from Stampin' Up! around that Knight of Navy. That is Knight of Navy. And this is the Stampin' Up! Basic Black. And then this has crushed curry on top of that. And then this one, I stamped it, I colored it, and uh, this is all colored with the Knight of Navy, the light Knight of Navy alcohol marker. And for the moon, I wanted it to look like it had a ring around it. So I actually put a thin strip with my chalk marker around it, but I didn't feel like it was enough. So I took the color remover Stampin' Blender and I went around the whole moon with that and it sort of made it span out a little bit. And I thought that looked pretty cool. And then I also used the chalk marker a little bit on the paws and um, the faces of the cats. A little bit in here but then I went over it with the light black um, so yeah not my best coloring job but it'll do and I have a little white tip on the end of that one this one is sort of gray on the tip and there's the little mousey sitting right up there so I thought that was cute and it says have a perfect Halloween and that came out of this that I just got hero arts poly clear it's right there and that is a uh, layering circle in basic black and it was this one here the scallop layer here's the seam binding uh, ribbon it's actually called crinkled seam binding ribbon and here's the little stamp isn't that cute Amanda Sunshine and Cole and this must have been a um, scrapbook.com one also because it has the information on the back so those are my two projects for this month for House Mouse Collab with Crafty Bean. I'll put links to everyone participating down below the video. Um, please go check them out. They, uh, are, they always make a lot of cute things and amazing crafters and uh, art people. Um, I just have fun with it. I just was a little late getting to it this month, so I apologize, Tina, but I want to do them because I have all these house mouse stamps now, and I love them. They're adorable. So, yeah, especially Halloween's next next week? The week yeah, next, no, the week after next, but I don't, this week I'm not going to have time to do much of anything as far as crafting. So, anyway, all right, guys, I will talk to you soon, and um, hope you have a wonderful week. And uh, yeah, I'll be back again tomorrow with a couple collabs. All right, bye for now. Take care.